Hi folks, it's Paul here from Paul Ford Leather. Um, what I want to talk to you about today is antique leather and what to watch out for when you're, uh, when you're looking after it. Uh, antique leather has basically got a, uh, you can see it's got a darker colour there and a lighter colour here. So how it's made in the tannery, uh, they start off with a, a light coloured hide and then they have a what's called a print colour either rolled over or sprayed over the top which is what's happened here and as you, as you can see it's all worn off. Now uh, this is pretty typical of, of antique leather because uh, with wear and tear that print colour is going to wear through and you're going to, going to see the base colour exposed. Now when cleaning antique leathers what I've found is uh, that quite often the print colour is very very unstable and the cleaners, leather cleaners, will actually take that print colour off or move it around. In fact, even water, I've seen water uh, even take it off as well. So if you have leather that's looking like that, you know, like a mottled coloured leather, you need to be very, very careful with it. Uh, if you find that the, the print colour is starting to come off, um, either ring me up and, and tell me about it or send me a photo because uh, it needs to be resealed again, or uh, what you can do is use the sponge and just very lightly clean it and just leave it. Just leave it to dry without uh, rubbing it too hard because, uh, as I say before, uh, even water, uh, rubbing with a cloth and water uh, will take that print colour off. So it's nothing that you've done. It's, it's, you, it's a fault in the leather. Well, it's not even a fault. It's just one of those, uh, those things with so many leathers coming in from overseas. Some, uh, you know, some of the print colour is unstable. Some of it's not. So I just thought I'd point that out uh, as something to be aware of anyway. So uh, it's not the cleaner, it's the print colour that's that's at fault there. Rightio, with that said about the, uh, the print colour, uh, if you want to clean it, how do you go about that? Well, I'll show you a couple of ways you can do that. Um, first thing I'm going to use is the, I'll clean first of all with the leather cleaning brush. So I'm just spraying a little bit of leather cleaner onto, the, onto that panel there and dipping the brush in the water, just give it a very very light going over which is what I'm doing there now, you see it's all frothing up and wipe it away with a, a, a microfiber cloth, I'm just going to use a paper towel here just so you can see yes, there's a slight amount of print colour coming off there but it hasn't moved anything at this stage so just wipe it off and leave it, don't keep rubbing it because as you as you rub it somehow forces the, the liquid into the print colour and causes it to become sticky and it comes comes straight off. So the other option you've got is using the sponge. So we'll spray the leather cleaner onto the, onto the leather like that and dipping the sponge in the water and just very very lightly going over the top like that and again wiping it off with a um, with a microfiber cloth and just using a paper towel just to check to see how stable that print colour is and that's fine. So you've got a couple of options, you can either use the brush, uh, you need to be very careful with that, or you can use the foam pad. You see a couple of spots there, um, I actually used the paper towel and water and rubbed it quite firmly and, and that's how unstable this one is. So there you go folks, over and out.